Well, journalism demands an early start, so I'm usually up at the crack of dawn. In fact, most days I've no option. <laughs> Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It gives you the energy, you know, the get up and go you need to see you through the day. I prefer to walk to the office, actually. It's healthier, and you get to meet a lot more people that way. <laughs> a favourite and long-time source of information is my old friend Eddie, the lying bastard. <laughs> Nothing happens without Eddie knowing about it first. I need a story, Eddie. good story and it had better be a load of bollocks <laughs> once upon a time there was this beautiful princess royals eh i like it i like it go on well one day she went out into the garden and she met this wee man a wee green man with a big green hat on and a green bow tie So the princess kisses the frog, and it turns into a handsome prince. Well done, Eddie, old son. Randy Royal in Frog Hump Jump. <laughs> if there's time, I might call in for a chat with a boss. He's a man I admire for his unbiased views. You see, political impartiality is the motto of our editor. story it did on well, a vicar with a bad art who stole the panties from next door's laundry basket sick dicky ticker vicar nicks knickers from nick <laughs> yeah. yeah. that's the one well apparently the vicar read the headline collapsed now he's dead what are we gonna do harry well how about uh headline rev drops dead <laughs> harry the man is dead which means he can't sue. <laughs> Why don't we run with um, gay black vicar in drugs, death, choir boy, choir boy. behind the old uh, scandal in this room? One spin, please, Harry. Gay black vicar <laughs> in drugs, death, choir boy, with choir boy behind the old uh, scandal in this room. Now, that's what I call journalism. <laughs> After I put the story to bed, I like to relax in a local hostelry. I usually stay there till chucking out time. <laughs> then it's time to put myself to bed. 